What's up, y'all? It's the Nuzlocke King. This week we're playing the Monty My Infernos in the IDA Season 2 uh, conclusion. So yeah, I lead Garchomp, he leads Empoleon. I was expecting the Ice Beam, but he went Stealth Rock. Probably could have gone Earthquake there, but you never know. Switches into his top of Bulu. I take that opportunity to get a free Calm Mind. And then I go for the Substitute. He goes for the Wood Hammer, which does a lot. And, you know, arguably I could have gone for the Ice Beam there, but, you know, I just... For whatever reason, I just thought it'd be a better, you know, deal. I missed my one HP to take it, take him out, but, you know, it happens. And so I go into my Garchomp here, and I was kind of expecting this to do a lot more, but it didn't. And so, you know, he takes me pretty far down, and, I, you know, I was in for a hurt in a bit. So I just stayed in, I believe, and, or no, I switch out in Magmortar. You know, trying to spook him out. He goes for Horn Leech again. It does a shit ton. I'm assuming he's... Uh, I don't even know what he'd be. But it was just, you know, a rough game all around for me. So then Reshiram comes out. And, you know, he caught me on the Turbo Blitz. Or whatever. The, the Reshiram takes me on the uh, Overheat. You know, he goes Dragon Pulse. Takes me out. No big deal. And then I go my Tauros. And, you know, holding it down with the Z-Dragon. Shout out to the season. It was, you know, failure all around going freaking three and whatever but you know it was a fun game so i switch into mimikyu expecting the fake out and that's exactly what happened and then that gives me a chance to get my swords up you know at this point i realize i don't have anything for him so i switch back into the garchomp expecting to get flash cannoned it happened i just sack him off then Manectra comes in and i'm expecting him to switch out and he does into tapu bulu and yeah, it was just kind of rough. This Tapu Bulu was a lot more difficult than I expected. I used him in my draft zone league and he did pretty well. So, you know, I was expecting some shenanigans and shenanigans were had by all. And so we're sitting here. He's got me leech seated, but I take him out with the flamethrower. So we're doing okay there. Tyranitar comes out and I think I'm okay with the signal beam. So I just throw that out there does a fair amount but not as much as i would have liked he d dances and i forget what i do here do i switch out i don't remember and so uh, i go for another signal beam just trying to get him confused i believe and he just keeps d dancing which is scary as hell mind you and yeah it was a uh, this d this t-tar was actually really good you know takes me out there and so I'm down to two Pokemon. I realize I got to do something. So I go for the... He's expecting the Sword Stance, but I went for the Play Rough here. And for once in my life, I did not miss. <laughs> and so we're sitting here. I realize I've got him on the Shadow Sneak. We're good to go. So I Shadow Sneak. All fine by me. Sends out his Scrafty. I realize I'm good here, so I can just go for another Play Rough. Takes him out. Not even Sword Stance. So we're doing real good here. Alolan Muck comes out. I go for the Leech Life. You know, just trying to get some HP back, and then he poison jabs me to death. You know, it happens. And so here's the interesting part of the game. I go into my Tauros, and I've got Earthquake here. And so I just go for that, expect, you know, I didn't know if he was going to switch out or whatever, but then I get poisoned. And I don't know if it would have mattered had the poison touch gone off or not, but, you know, so it's down to 1v1. I'm poisoned. I don't imagine it would have mattered, but, you know, it would have been nice to think about. But then he takes me out with the skull. So shout out to the Mighty Monferno's great battle, and thank you for the great season. And all of you, have a good one.